Welcome to the OSRS podcast, where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content creators. I'm one of your hosts, Mint Mad Cow, followed by what's going on, boys? Rakesy here, and hello, Rice Cup, doing the and recording today. I'll be introducing our guest. So we last 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 podcast we had Foxy Boxy, who was one of the owners of Conduit, which is a very awesome client that used to be very popular back in the day. And he mentioned RuneLight Plus, Lizard, Lizardscape. I can't remember that one. Yeah, Lizard Light. Yeah. Lizard Light. There we go. And yeah. they, they're just add ons on Rune Light. And right now we have somebody from Rune Light Plus who does a lot of the PVE stuff, Gannon. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah, man. So tell us first what what do you do for Rune Light? Uh, for Rune Light Plus, I'm pretty much one of the admins. So I review all the pull requests that are coming in. So, like, new features that come to the client. They'll be going through the admins, and uh, I, pretty much my my main focus is on BBM. I want to thank OSR's best in slots for once again supporting the OSR's podcast. So they have done a complete overall of their website, and it looks amazing. If you have always wondered about what type of gear exists in the game with uh, their best stats, respectively, you can check out the best in slot gear section. And then click on a stat of your choice. You want to know which items in the game has the best stab bonuses? There you go. Now you know which boots, which gloves, which rings, etc. has the best stab bonuses. And also, I didn't cover this one. We got ourselves bossing gear. So it's kind of like a quick guide. You want to know what bosses to fight and what gear to bring. Make sure to check out OSR's best in slots through our link in the description below that will support our channel. Okay, so is, uh, dude, I don't even use RuneLight, but is RuneLight and RuneLight Plus, are they the same client or uh, is it completely the separate? The backbone is the same, but we are separate. So, right, like so, separate groups. Wait, is it, wait, wait, wait. So is it just like exactly the same client, just with different add-on? Uh, somewhat. I mean, we do have to do some pretty big modifications to their client to do what we want to do. But okay. yeah, we, we do use their patterns. Okay, I see, I see. I'm with you. Yeah, okay, so I, I feel like we should probably just uh, get a general idea of like Ganon as, as a RuneScape player. Like, so so how long have you played RuneScape or no RuneScape? So I've played RuneScape since November of 2018. So oh, mobile. a newbie. Wow, that's actually yeah. crazy. That's <laughs> crazy. Good here, buddy. No. <laughs> wow, that's actually crazy. I, I would assume. Okay, actually, so so to expand on that, is a lot of the people. Out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So is a lot of people in like the coding community for RuneScape like clients and stuff. Like, are they are they all just like veteran players, and you're kind of like just that guy that just like knows how to code and stuff, and you just join them? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I yeah, mean, I, I all, figured, all right? the developers on the team right now, I'd say, have been playing OSR since it came out. Wow, that's crazy. So, how did you get into the game? Like, you know, what what, what was like the advertising thing that hit you? Uh, it was honestly my brother. Like, he was like, "Hey, you remember RuneScape, right? Yeah, they're coming out with mobile, so you want you want to try it out?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." Wow. So mobile caused RuneLight Plus. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> is, that, is there a correlation there? No, uh, I think I would have found it eventually. Yeah, that's that's, <clears throat> that's interesting. Do you know how RuneLight Plus got started and then you joined on, or did you help build whatever it turned into? Uh, I was one of the core people who like built it. So pretty much originally it was just like, yeah, a few developers we were working together, make some fun plugins. But then people were like, hey, how do I get into this? And we're like, uh, uh, I mean, you can just join this Discord. Uh, and then so, we saw, you know, like, just a big interest for it. So we went public with it. So you've already had an extensive, like, uh, like work resume with, like, coding and stuff, right? Is that what, what it was? Like, you, you've already, like, was working, right? And, like, doing coding stuff for a living before? You, uh, uh, I mean, I'm I'm going to college for uh -huh. uh, network security, but yeah, I mean, it, it kind of gives you a little bit of a. I see. In I see. I see. So you delved into it uh, before already. Yep. Because I thought I thought you were just like you know doing like coding work and then, but I guess you were just learning it while you were going to school and then you you applied yeah, it. Pretty uh, much. I see. 
Here, turn, put on some of the RuneLight plugins so people can see. Pretty much, or sorry, RuneLight Plus. <clears throat> Pretty much is an add-on of RuneLight, but it's more. I would, I would even just say overpowered or yeah, they got some crazy in a way. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be frank, it is <clears throat> kind of overpowered. So I mean, I feel like we can cover it in a bit more. I just uh, want I, 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 I have a few more like general questions though. Personally, okay, yeah. unless you guys want to, just want to make sure the viewers know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I have the picture here if you want to look at it ahead of time. But um, yeah, go for it. So, so like, like in terms of just like RuneScape, uh, I guess, mm, uh, knowledge-wise, like, what, what do you, what do you feel like you're at right now? You know, like, you know, you started recently, so how far, how far into the game, I guess, have you gotten into it? Like, how deep? Uh, I've gone to Casey at Theater of Blood, so pretty far. That's not bad. That's actually better than me, so. Yeah, because, like, I see I see you probably made most of the PvE clients, right? I, I mean, uh, features, right? So, like, you've, you've already done a lot of, like, extensive research, right, on how certain bosses work and, like, their mechanics, right? Because I'm certain you need to know those things before you can even, like, code features to make those easier, is that... Yeah, I mean, for specific things, it gets, uh, pretty in-depth. So like uh, <clears throat> the Fight Caves plugin, you need to know the timers for each attack and when those timers start. So that requires yeah. a good bit of game knowledge or just you know, brute forcing yeah. it. Yeah, but, you gotta uh, like actually break down the game <laughs> yeah. a bit. A lot more than like your regular PVMer. So, but with regarding most of the PVM plugins, a lot of them have existed for quite a long time. And pretty much what we did was we brought them back up updated them and added more features but some of them are original content. Hmm. so you're talking about stuff that <clears throat> they wanted off their client you brought it back uh some of them yeah but some of them were also like just plugins that were kept private for quite a long time that we got a hold of and we're just like right, we're releasing this this shouldn't be i heard um, there was a zora plugin right mm -hmm. and they didn't want it in the game is that something you brought back it is, yes. We even have the uh, the person who made the Zora plugin in our Discord, which is pretty neat. And I heard a lot of people bought Zora. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's good money, but that it's no relation to well, this. That a bot we don't that, do automation. I feel you there, but a bot that can actually do Zora seems kind of crazy. Would you say that uh, that plugin back in the, it, it would have like helped them make a bot for Zora? Because that seems pretty complicated. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that would necessarily just because the information was already there before. Like, I mean, yeah, it didn't because stem I'm from a new yours, player, right? I don't really know like how long Zora has been out, but from what I gather, it's been out for quite a while. Yeah. But the Zora plugin was only made in like late 2017, early 2018. Yeah. So yeah. how OP is this plugin? Like, what does it, what does it tell you? I mean, uh, this, the if you look at this. Yeah, yeah, the Zora one. You see that picture I have on, on the thing? You can see some of the features. I mean, there's all, uh, also the image. Are, are these uh, legit, by the way? Because I couldn't really find too much on, you know, Google. So I just kind of need <laughs> yeah, your confirmation. It, it's legit. Okay. We've had quite a lot more since then and also uh, refined a lot of things. Okay. okay. So how many people use the client Remote Plus? Um, let me check real quick. We we have a similar bot to Runelight. Uh, two hundred seventy nine players are online. Two hundred and seventy nine. So that's like, that's very low compared to Runelight itself because it's like yeah, tens of definitely. thousands. Yeah. Right. So now I I've never looked at Runelight Plus, but from like looking at what I'm looking at, I know that Jagex they haven't really taken a stance, but they've made it clear that things which hurt the integrity of their game are just like a big no no. Like, do you think that's why there's so few people that are using this, this uh, they're scared. plugins because yeah. they're scared they're gonna get banned? Oh yeah, definitely, a hundred percent. But when the stream that Mod Matt K did after he left Jagex, uh, someone in the chat asked about that, and he said that they look specifically at Runelight Plus and Lizardlight, and also I think both uh, Xylent was the other one. Yeah, XR, and they said yeah, that yeah. those clients they consider them OP, but not ban worthy if you use that client. Okay, interesting. So, do people have to pay to be able to use Runelight Plus, or is it no. completely free? 
everything will be completely free. So no, you don't make that the client. No, I mean no, okay. we do have a Patreon if people do want to support it, just like Rinlight. But it, there's no obligation. You don't get any extra features. Nothing if you do do Patreon. Okay. Right, so 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 effectively, you guys aren't making anything off of it because if you've got 300 players online, you're probably not getting any Patreons. And if you are, it's maybe like a hundred bucks a month. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much where we're at right now. Hundred bucks a month. So what's yeah. the incentive to like make this client? Is it just a case of helping people, or is there something else? Uh, the main reason we wanted to make this was there was private paid clients being made. And yeah. that's just, that That shouldn't happen. That's a dis So explain a little more into that. Well, so pretty much they're hijacking off RuneLight like we are. But RuneLight in itself is an open source. Well, I guess you can't really say open source anymore. But it is semi-open source. So if you're using that code, you need to make that like public, you know? And it's, I don't feel it's ethically right to take something that's open source and sell. So people would modify it and then sell it and without sharing it for free, right? Something that's really overpowered. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. So yeah. What, what you're saying is this was effectively a way to counter the people that were profiting off of Relight. 100%, yeah. That was our entire purpose of going public with the client. So what, what's your relationship with RuneLight like? Like, do they like you guys, or are they kind of pissed that you're doing the same <laughs> thing? Oh, they like fucking you. despise us. <laughs> what, why would they despise you if that was the case? If you were like, have you not spoken to them, or...? Uh, we have spoken to them. We have some of the devs in our Discord. They hang out, and but, you know, the general consensus is Abex, one of the developers, and Adam specifically do not like our client, and they're taking pretty active measures to deter it um is oh. it simply because it's competition or i wouldn't say it's competition i would say that it's like people getting it mixed up with runelight and just giving them a bad i see, see i we, see yeah yeah we actually okay. pulled a uh, jake paul on you and we just invited those guys into the discord right now so oh, uh, say, hi. <laughs> <laughs> say hello <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Yeah, so I mean, I, I get that. I understand. Um, I don't know. I just I don't know how I feel about this. I need yeah, to see weird. how op how op these like helpers are and stuff. Like, I I think for me personally, just like a personal opinion, is that like I've played the game for such a friggin' long time. You start shit. It takes years to get good, and shouldn't everybody have to go through that process? Like, genuinely speaking. I, I'd say I have an issue with most plugins on most clients, but that's just me. Like yeah, I know some uh, of them are I'm, helpful and whatnot. Yeah, but same. the puzzle it, solver. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, you know how like we do those? When it starts to take away from like the game's integrity and like, you know, actually making a game a game and having to figure stuff out, it's like I, I think there's a line and I think that you guys being Rune Light Plus, you're kind of like dancing on that line right now, whereas Rune Light's a little step backwards. So that's probably why they have an issue because it's exactly the same client. And I, I kind of understand why they'd be pissed off, but I, I understand where you're coming from as well. Yeah. I mean, we just, as I said before, like I agree that this client is 100% overpowered. The things that we make are pretty fucking insane. But <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we really want to get rid, get rid of the, uh, the big clients. Like that shit is just aggravating. Wait, yeah, sorry, yeah. get rid of the what? Paid clients. The paid clients. Okay. So, is your uh, client, is it open source as well? Yeah, and you can go to our GitHub, check it out. And all that. Well, if you wanted to get rid of the paid clients, you could just report them to Jagex, because at the moment, oh, it's buddy, we are just talking to Conduit's leader, or not leader, but the guy who made Conduit, Foxy, and they were pretty big. They were competing with OS Buddy before RuneLight was out, and they couldn't get paid subscriptions. Neither can RuneLight. So, if there is a client out there that is taking paid subscriptions that is you can just tell them hey you know jagex look at this i feel like you can it's snitch on them nice <laughs> yeah i mean it's a little bit more complicated than that because you have people who may not be in the jurisdiction that would be like you know they can sue them or something like that yeah but you also have the issue of technically the client is runely so they you everyone uses the jagex certification mm. that they provide <clears> with runelight <throat> So all the clients will show up as room lights. Yeah, and they can't yeah, that's differentiate the problem, it, huh? isn't it? Jeez. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, it's just it, it's proof, kind of tough, right? Yeah. You of can't like really now or where the money goes to just something. There's got to be a way. It can't just be like, oh, they're under rune light. We can't get them, right? That's there's there's got to be evidence where it's like, oh, I paid. Money goes here. The website's this way. The promoters Discord. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, international uh, like law and stuff is really complicated. Mm. I so, mean, the shit with like V Switcher. I just want to say this: like that is the main reason that this client exists is V Switcher alone. V Switcher, can you elaborate? V Switcher is a paid client that uses Runelite, but it adds automation to it. Oh, so you have a, okay. Okay. Do you have any actions. gifts or pictures that we can I see. look at? So, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I see. Let me let me look around. But okay. yeah, it, I mean, it's just a really OP client that he's charging insane amounts for. And and, like and it also has plugins. It's yeah, it also has botting like capabilities. Is what you're saying, right? Yeah, I mean, any client whatsoever can do bot actions, but that is a client specifically made for bot. Yeah. So, man. if Runelight have a huge issue with you, what about the um, the paid clients? What 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 have they said to you? Because they must hate you because you're effectively <laughs> giving what they're selling for free. Yeah, I mean, minus the we automation. We don't do the automation parts. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, he he gets very mad at us. But we did get banned from Slice, so that's. I think you got a band um, from where? Scythe. Where? You know that Scythe. website? Oh, yeah, I know. I've heard of it. Yeah, I, I, think, I don't, actually. That's cool. <laughs> I, I think my only issue with this client, honestly, aside from the fact that it's like EasyScape and it takes away from some of the Gabe's integrity, my biggest concern is the fact that you only have 300 users, which to me is just like a huge fucking red flag, which is basically if you use this client, your passwords might get fucking jacked. Because who gives a shit about 300 people? Like the truth is, if you're making $100 a a month from Patreon, if there's 300 people using your client and they all have on average 10 mil in their banks, that's a lot more money you could be making hacking those accounts than what it would be using your Patreon. I'm not sure if they could hack them if they're going through Runelight though, right? Well, Well, I mean, they can modify it. So first, I just want to say, our client is open source. Everything you can verify yourself. But... Yes, it is possible to grab any information you want through Runelight client logging, but I mean, at this point, it's just a trust thing. Yeah, you just have to trust other people to verify it, which actually does happen. You know, someone came to the GitHub and like, it was like uh, your certifications are missing, your SSL certifications, which is a big thing. You know, so we had to get those back in. Granted, okay. that doesn't allow us or anyone else to get your information, but it does open up the client to man the middle attacks, say if you're like at a cafe or something. So okay, you, so you as of, that, as of right now. thing though, right? Yeah. Is that what you said? That yeah, I mean, just like with Runelight, you know, <laughs> yeah, any yeah. second they can update their code and they can get the information for every single person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they can, they won't they won't risk that because, you know, they're they're definitely, Jagex definitely knows who, who to, you know, like press charges yeah. on, etc. Jmod used to work for Jagex, and he pulled some shit. I mean, yeah, yeah, but that was <laughs> that was crazy though. He like literally went into their base, you know, and and did some like mindfucker <clears> assassin <throat> shit. Yeah, but still, yeah, I mean, them. these guys aren't even under their their house or roof. So, and there's multiple yeah. people working on Runelight. Yeah, so, so multiple, multiple people working for 07. So, yeah. what's Runelight Plus is like end game goal? Like, what what do you guys want? What do you guys want to achieve? Uh, getting rid of paid clients. <laughs> that that's literally it. You just want to get rid of that. Com- well, not even competition. You just want to get rid of that. Yeah. Be- okay. Yeah. So, what personally for you, right? I mean, you're going to school and stuff. Like, you know, once you graduate and stuff, you're gonna be like working full time, right? You don't plan on like making a job out of this, you know, client making. To is the client making like to you just kind of a hobby in a sense. Or... Yeah, pretty much. It's a it's a good place to apply what I've learned from school. Yeah, instead of just sitting there and letting, letting yeah. it rot in your brain. I see. Yeah, yeah, because I, I can tell it's kind of like you just, you're doing this out of your, your own necessity to just grow as a, you know, a coder, so to say. I see. Pretty much. Yeah, so. yeah. So you're not going to open it like a Moperscape 2 or... <laughs> 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 yeah. But um, this rivalry between you and paid clients, so... Is it just out of like a justice thing where you're, you're like, oh, they're they're making you pay for something that it should be free, 
Uh, or is it like, you know, they, they said something in RuneScape and you just hate them now? Like, how'd that start? <laughs> uh, it was because they had taken, like, plugins that were, you know, available on you know, public repos. Like, for instance, Exact made some plugins, like, uh, he called it ZTOB, which is just, you know, the theater of blood helper. That yeah, yeah, I've seen some nowadays. of this stuff. But, like, vSwitcher and other play, paid clients they took that plug and then they started selling it <laughs> did you find right. any pictures by the way that we can look at oh sorry i didn't look it up what was the pictures i was looking for uh just the switcher in general so we can have the switcher right isn't it fee is it fee switcher uh fee. do you guys remember that clip a few weeks ago where that person was like uh clicking things but not actually clicking them doing like auto eats the uh, free tick eats and that shit I've yeah, seen I've a seen a lot of those, of those yeah, on yeah, Twitter. Man. I, I wish I could find one specific one, but um, yeah, we'll just have to. Pretty much a hobby switcher, but yeah. Oh god, go that's look crazy. It. So those guys are paying for AHK then, dude. They are paying so much money for it. It's insane holy, how much holy. it costs. But the difference is that that Jagex can't really are like uh, are they having? I mean, from your knowledge, is it possible for Jagex to really detect that from a feed switcher? You know what I mean? Oh, uh, you're cutting out. What'd yeah, you you're cutting out a little bit. Oh, oh um, so I'm saying, is it possible, based on what you know, that Jagex can actually even detect the automation from Fee Switcher? Or... Yeah, definitely. They, uh, before, they weren't actively tracking it, but once a few things became public, like posted on Twitter, like I believe the uh, Inferno plugin that was posted on there, they uh, they got their shit together and started tracking it again. Okay, but so they're aware. What it does of... is, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just explain like what this client's doing is calling a menu action, which is something that RuneScape by default has. And whenever they call a menu action, it doesn't require a click. It'll just call it no matter what interface you're in. It'll oh, still okay. I see. I see. So, what would Damn, Green Light Plus's stance be? If you uploaded a new plugin and Jagex were just like, you need to get rid of it, would you guys do it or would you keep it? Uh, honestly, not sure. <laughs> uh, I don't have an answer because it, it is a group project. So there's, I believe, eight developers currently. So it would be a decision up to them. You know, do they want to do that? Okay. Yeah, I mean, because you, you are competing with the pay clients and obviously the play, play clients don't give a shit about what Jagex says necessarily yeah. hey, unless paid, they get made. how much do they pay for those clients by the way like do you know uh, what's their typical about? membership i guess i don't know just i believe it was like 50 dollars a month holy fuck. lifetime for like wow 200 or something and that's a ahk bounty hunter ass slapping i mean oh, they probably make God. that shit back from selling gold from risk fights huh yeah pretty much that's disappointing yeah that's, that's pretty interesting nasty. though dude See, ah, uh, I was almost, I was almost at the rooting point for your little green light plus then, but I don't like that. It's like, I feel like you're the middle ground between middle. being the good guys and the bad guys at the same time. You're like bang on in the middle. Like, why can't you just follow and respect the rules, man? Uh, <laughs> I, okay. I don't know, but I, I get it because you guys are fighting against the paid ones, but. Yeah. Like, this, I think. Um, can we watch this first before we uh, continue? Okay. Anything? All right. So this is. Oh, oh my fuck god. Off. <laughs> fuck off. Uh, we can play, well, we can watch that again. That watch this closely. Look at this. At. His mouse was even there. Just insta switches, dude. Holy crap. It annoys me so hard. I know. I so know. I hope this isn't something that Runite Plus is ever going to have. Yeah, no. no I, I feel like not. your principle is okay. not automation because. There's too much heat on it, so, anyways. I, I get just it. This a is a warning big with this. Yeah. The next one that I linked, this is something that I made just to see like what can be done with menu actions. This is not something that you can actually. Yeah. I'm excited, yeah. Dude. Okay, so it's not within your client, but it's something that you you did for a test. Right? Something I did personally as a test. Yeah. 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 When me and Rikey start uploading videos about the screen on, dude. All know? right. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, it's not loading, uh, so. I don't know why it's not loading. Excuse me. That's it, dude. That's the that's holy the thing. crap. <laughs> Is there um something wrong uh, with the link or? I don't believe there's something wrong. Sure. Hmm. Let's try again. 
Ah, alright. Well, it was too powerful. My my PC couldn't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it literally just wouldn't let me play it. <laughs> but we get it. We under I, I understand it for sure. So, uh, yeah, I get it though. There's there's definitely a fine line between assistive like features that help you keep track of things and you know uh, help you just click better and then there's things that like just simply click for you right or don't so, even click for you at all yeah, and just yeah, still yeah. does the action yeah yeah exactly mm, i think crazy. you know the, the trouble with all of these clients coming up so this uh the paid for client so they ran off of rune light as well some of them yeah okay so like the issue which is going to occur and i'm sure jagex are trying to figure this out is they're not going to be able to detect a client which is bought in through rune light and an average player that's playing rune light legitly so they're going to come to a point where they're just like how do we how do we counter this bot in and the most simple way to do that will just be to say well you're not allowed to use rune light you're not allowed to use third party clients so that's literally the only way they can deal with this issue and I've been talking about that. Yeah, that, so it has to be like it's the simplest way to actually deal with this issue is just to say no to all of them, all to all of the clients. That's uh, what yeah, I think sure. Foxy said, right? Like what, yeah. that is pretty much, as I see it, one of the only options. But you have to remember that a lot of players in RuneScape only play this game because RuneLight or Osbody exists. Okay, so how about this? What if Jagex made their own client, like you know, with some really good features that are really should should be in there in the first place, and have a you know a nice client, and then they decide to you know revoke all the other third parties? That'd be perfect. Would that <clears> be like a the way to go? Story in a way is yeah. that a lot of people would want to switch over right away because you know, they'll be missing out on those features. But the features that should be allowed, if Jack has just added them into their own client. I, um, you know the streaming software, Streamlabs? Right? Yeah. yeah. And how they're really used? Well, Stream Elements has a way where you can import all the settings and then you get some benefits over, right? So if Jagex had some sort of idea like that, where it's like, oh, you got your own settings, you got your own features. So this process of moving over to another client and then banning them all would be like this. They probably wouldn't lose a lot of their player base, right? Well, so the issue is that just making it so RuneScape is the only client, like their official client, wouldn't actually remove all the clients because but that they would just identify themselves as the regular RuneScape client. Could they? They can, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that's not really a foolproof solution then. So, okay, Foxy once said that um, because of the Rune Lights, you know, open source uh, ever since it started and then people were able to create off branches of that client, they were able to create some botting scripts with it and as a result, Jagex has a hard time detecting it. I think even, even Bully even said that they couldn't even detect it at all. So, like, how, how much truth is there to that you know from your end of things like now that you've so, seen fee switch i just want to make it clear i don't have full knowledge about yeah. how the anti-cheat works yeah for jagex but from what was explained to me by our lead developer uh Noel or Azuri, it, it's pretty much they use mouse events so they track your mouse every 50 milliseconds and they see if there's anything that's like odd from that and that's how they mainly detect bots mm -hmm. and yeah like uh they don't actually have any client-side detection like with uh rs3 they actually have client-side detection but so also like with... RS, it's all like machine learning okay is that because runescape 3 is more advanced and old school has spaghetti coding yes the engine right 100 yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's pretty much like <laughs> do they that's... want to remake their client like because that's pretty much what it's gonna have to be they've been just remaking it this whole time instead of asking that goddamn question we'd be there right <laughs> yeah so i think a lot of, like i think from jag's point of view it's just money right they like they, they just let the third parties do it because it's way cheaper right oh yeah 100 that's that, what, that uh, what Jagex uh, ash actually said on twitter ah, it was like see. this is not in the uh the what osrs team's hand like this is something that's oh sorry you got cut it off uh, it's something that's above them 
Yeah, it's a okay. company decision. Oh, okay, Yo, okay. Ganem, did you comment on the uh, the podcast we did regarding Kondu? Did you comment on that, or did Reamlight Plus like comment on that? There was a guy named Kyle. I don't know who, what, what, who that was. What did he say? Because I'm not I, sure. <laughs> I, I've seen what Lizard Light put, and it was yeah. effectively what you're saying is wrong. Blah 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 blah. Wait, Lizard Light. Fair enough. Responded? Can we? Yeah, so what Lizard Light said was, I, I, I responded a few times, right? But uh, I'll, I'll copy and paste it over. Oh, and I'll read it, I'll read it, right? Right, I'll, I'll read it. So this is what he put. He okay, said, quite a, few thing, quite a few things that are inaccurate about Lizard Light in this. I'm pretty open about everything involved with my client. Feel free to contact me if you want. The reason I ask is because um, if there was something that you commented on that video, uh, I wanted to discuss it, like... But I, I guess the real question I'm asking here was, why exactly did you want to come on the podcast? Uh, it was actually Kyle, as uh, Rice Cup said. He uh, he wanted some of us to go on the podcast, yeah, just uh, to explain our stance. Yeah. Uh, and your stance is effectively you're dancing on the line between morality. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I mean he's corruption. pretty open about that. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty open about that. I mean. Yeah, I do. I gotta respect the honesty, man. Like <laughs> fair fucking play. Yeah. Um, God, I don't know, man. All right, sell me. What's why should I use your client aside from the well, well, aside from not getting hacked? Hopefully, <laughs> well, from it sounds like from you, you you probably wouldn't use it. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't use I, it. I wouldn't either, you're but... too good, dude. You're too good, man. <laughs> I don't need no damn client, dude. I play with my fucking blindfold. I'm sorry, That's how good I'm buddy. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> he still uses those, buddy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I'm old I mean, What can I say? This guy is pretty much for people who, like, yeah, maybe they don't want to take the time to fully learn the fights before going in. Do you have a lot of Venezuelan users? <laughs> we, we don't take demographics. <laughs> Damn, that would be fun to, fun to know. You know, the way that I view this room like Plus, in a way, is like somebody on crutches, okay? <laughs> so it's like somebody's a little bit fucked up or they're... <laughs> disabled they got something wrong with them whatever and in this scenario it's a case of they're not very good at the game so therefore they okay. have this they have this crutch which is room like plus and then once they've done it enough times hopefully muscle memory will kick in and they could just do it themselves without all of the plugins you're not saying that disabled people are bad at life right because that's what i got out of it <laughs> I know, I, I, i'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying <laughs> only disabled people use room like plus no, i'm joking but like <laughs> That's how that's how I feel. Like I, I feel like it's a crutch and hopefully like if they want to turn the plugins off after they've killed Zora for a hundred times with the plugin on, they'd be able to do it just through muscle memory and just like actually learning just at a slower pace to what I feel people you on that done legit. But uh if you didn't play RuneScape forever, right? And then you started playing again, you want to do all this cool shit, and you're lazy, well, you're like twenty something years old, you got a full time job. What's what's the harm of getting on that client? In their mindset, right? What what would be the harm of actually using a client just to kind of ease and cheese their way out? I'm not yeah, they don't nice. see that as a problem necessarily, right? It's a video game, and they just want to do things that other people can without learning it, right? That's yeah. kind of their mindset. In their I mean, I, well, like from from their point of view, it's like it's not a big deal, you know. I'm just doing it for myself, blah blah blah, you know. Hmm. To to be honest, to I'd them. be totally fine. To I'd be totally fine with plus if your stance when it came to what Jagex says goes, was the case. Uh, if you guys like agreed to remove stuff if Jagex asked you to, then I genuinely have like no issue at all. <laughs> Not that I have a big issue with your client in the first place, but I, I feel like that's just uh, maybe the downfall of it, perhaps, is the fact that it's not willing to like cooperate with the actual game that you're playing. Like, how do you feel about that, Ganon? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's true. Like, that is a very good point. Like, but in the end, these are always going to exist from what I personally feel. And I would much rather than get it from a reputable source than paying and potentially getting hurt. Yeah, it sounds like you have a close-knit community and, you know, you kind of... Yeah, you they're not taking paid subscriptions, of... so I kind of see it as like he's Batman, right? Yeah, he's doing in a wrong, way. Yeah. But in like a for for like a good reason, even though, I mean, let's be real, it's you're just helping lazy ass people. But it's like <laughs> Batman in a way, dude. And then you got the other people over there taking money. They're uh, and they're, they're trying to get make a job out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're trying to you're, squeeze everything yeah. they can. Yeah, exactly. So. 
I mean, yeah, ultimately, uh, like a third Robin party. Hood. Yeah, Robin third party, Hood, dude. Right? Taken from the rich, given to the lazy? <laughs> I guess. I mean, in that case, the poor, but yeah, maybe no, no, lazy as well. Poor. But... lazy as fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you know Lizard Light well? Since Foxy Boxy brought Lizard Light up a lot. Yeah, I, I know the dev. You guys buddies? Yeah, Lizard, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he he, he, he got a little heated I mean, because. Uh, oh wait, can we can we go back to? Uh, is he on your friends list, dude? To, he... <laughs> can we go back to the two podcasts with with Foxy? So I remember when we first talked about it, he kind of just like, oh yeah, lizard light. Uh, you know, I heard about it, so I did some digging, and then I found some crazy clients. So so That's lizard had a problem like... because I think he he took it the wrong way because he he thought he thought. He thought Foxy was specifically talking about Lizard Light, but from what we got, uh, Foxy just said, I found a lot of clients that I wish I didn't see. And then he kind of just went on and said that, oh yeah, these features, super overpowered. But I don't, I never thought for a moment he said Lizard Light specifically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I don't, so... I, dude, I don't think he did, man. I don't think anybody apart from Lizard Light. Like when I read that, I was like, ooh, this guy's like, or of half listen to the podcast but hey yeah, yeah exactly that's what i was saying two hours long dude yeah 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 because like want, when i looked at again because i can't see it i want to know what he said yeah he said that um 90 percent features mentioned here not my client but he but foxy didn't say that it was his client that had it he just said i discover a lot of clients with some really overpowered shit that i wish i didn't see and then well, he the went on to like list what he saw light, you know you gotta be more careful with your names dude yeah, I don't know anything about Lizard Light other than the raid stuff, the race features. So, so, I mean, pretty much Lizard Light is like, it's it's Rune Light with a little bit more overpowered features, but not like significantly overpowered. Like compared our, to yeah. Rune Light Plus, would you yeah. guys be beating them in the the scum? Probably. Scum layers? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Lizard Light is just a mere baby child to our guy. Yeah, right here, I right? mean, I know they have some pretty uh, good rate stuff. I mean, I wouldn't use it because I I call I consider it overpowered. But yeah, they definitely <laughs> have a lot of raid features. features. It's yeah. their name though, Lizard Light. All right, <laughs> Lizard Squad, Lizard <laughs> Reptilian, Hillary Clinton. You know, just Lizard, lizard Alien. Is it's not something that is perceived well, so that's, yeah. that's probably why his name came up first. Just his name, you know. It's, yeah. Pick a better name if you don't want to get roasted, right? It's yeah, like, but anyway, it's just, just I just want to we just want to clarify, right? Because yeah. you know people are just misunderstanding. It's a two-hour podcast. I get it. You don't want to like spend the time to like listen to everything. Yeah, hey, that's time to render, you know what I mean? That's, that's what the timestamps are for, dude. And yeah. shout out to the person that always puts timestamps. We love. I know. Yeah. I think Shark Blue Shark. Shark. Blue Shark. Yo. Do it, keep doing it, but well, let, let yeah. me find out, dude, because we need to. It is Lucio. He's gonna, he's gonna time stamp his shout out. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah time stamp that one, Lucio. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's Lucio. Yeah, yeah. you gonna time stamp yeah. this shit. Don't get, don't let it get to your head. I'm okay, sorry. yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, if, if there was any misunderstandings, you know, we kind of went through that one. Um, yeah. so just before we move on, another thing yeah. with Lizard Light is that like he doesn't want his client to be like a cheap client. You know, it doesn't. He doesn't want it to be OP. He just wants it to have certain features that Rune Light yeah. isn't certainly comfortable with having. Yeah, like but the they race don't features, really right? mind it. And yeah. if they do ask him to take something off the client, like for instance the uh, Z Top plugin I was talking about earlier, he will take it off. Yeah, yeah. So he seems reasonable. Yeah, because... I think I think he was just pissed that he, he his client was kind of somewhat associated with being dubious. When I guess his intentions is probably not to, because I get it. Yeah, yeah sure, sure, shit. sure. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to like frame the guy for anything, but yeah, I think that's yeah, the one thing. He, heat. Yeah, yeah. I think he, you, the reason why he took yeah. the heat is his name, dude. Like, yeah, it's just lizard. Yeah, it's just, it's just but... the fact that it, because it's not well known like that, it's people often associate it with like negative, like as like a sketchy. I mean, it's kind of sketchy because it's not known. And that's that's about it, right? Like but, if you had to compare the names, not knowing the the things they did, all right? Rune yeah. Light plus Lizard Light. Which one seems more dubious, as Rice says? Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like it's just it, the connotation of the word lizard in the online community kind of just you know it skews everything over on the bias side. But yeah, he's cool from what we've seen, from what we've heard. Just uh, you know, misunderstanding. Sorry, yeah. Misunderstandings do happen. Dude, I, I, I've just Googled Lizard Light to try and find their client, and I've got the definition of Lizard Light, and it says it's the most common serpentine species. 
Yeah. Mm. It's a it's an actual lizard. It's a serpent. Like a light, <laughs> like a bud light. Well, dude, it looks like a fucking green rock. I don't even I can link it. <laughs> it literally looks like a fucking piece of rock. Hold up. I'm thinking of Yoshi right now, dude. Is it like a Yoshi? I dropped my vape. Oh, I dropped my vape, dude. Oh, it's over, man. Well, it might explode, you know. I know. I only bought it earlier as well, dude. Get yeah, a couple of vape <laughs> shops near me opening, man. I'm kind of thinking about getting back into it. I don't know. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Check Discord. That's uh, what that's what lizard light looks like. It's a piece of rock. It's what? green. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not how you spell lizard light, though. Oh, I don't yeah, know how to yeah. fucking spell it, dude. Yeah, that's, it's just based on his name, you know. He just he literally named it after his. I think that's lizard it, you dumbo. <laughs> yeah. All right, listen. I, I feel like we should throw. Oh fuck off, dude. That's funny. Yeah. We should throw. We should throw a disclaimer, by the way. If you've got yourself a client, we've got no problem with it, unless you're prop well, actually, You know, if you're profit of it, I literally can give a shit either. But unless it's breaking the game rules and destroying the game's integrity. I can give two shits. Play Lizard Light, play OS Buddy, play Rune Light, play Rune Light Plus. I literally don't care. As long as your account's not getting hacked with a massive disclaimer that your account could literally get hacked with any of those clients. So yeah. just keep that in the back of your head. And subscribe. All right. Uh, what are we talking about here? What else? So the paid clients, Yannim, you said you guys have a little bit of beef there. What's the worst thing he's threatened or said or done to you or Rune Light Plus? I mean, there's, it's not really like threats or anything. It's just, you know, 13 year old insults, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, your mother just... <laughs> overweightish, maybe. Yeah, because like yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like they, these guys, like let's be honest, right? You guys won't won't really go through like crazy means to deal with you know rivals and stuff because to you it's just yeah, like. Hey. It, the history with people making money off RuneScape that aren't technically supposed to be making money, you know, like the illegal kind of shit. Yeah. They go through means, right? And I would, I would feel like this wouldn't be any, any different, right? DDoSing, uh, you know, all sorts of really shitty stuff they could do to somebody, dox them. Uh, you've heard it all, right? If they're making money off RuneScape, they, they aren't really too afraid to do the other shit. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I yeah. Agree. But like, would you also agree that a lot of people are cowards IRL, right? And they're not if they if they get caught in in any way shape or form. You just call them a coward? No, or, no, I'm just saying uh, like like a lot of people back. online they feel like they're they they are superior online, right? But when when things get heated and they like an IRL stuff comes into play, like you know, like allegations, uh freaking lawsuits or whatever. I mean, if it ever gets to that point, right? I'm sure they'll just like Hand, put their hands up and just fucking they wouldn't even resist at that point but yeah depends how smart they are but yeah you know if, they, if all their shit they're making money off is stuff they didn't even make then it, it just sounds like they uh more like a business person not a smart person right mm -hmm. yeah money orientated i guess well i mean uh the guy who made v switcher is pretty smart i got also, it to him like he he completely remade room lights injector after they uh, closed sort I see. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's making money off of being good at what he does. It's just a shame that it goes against the game's rules. It's yeah. the same with like botters, people that make bots. I don't know how to code. I don't know how to script, but I know that there's a lot of money doing some shady shit. Like for any game, effectively, if you're making bots that people can use and pay for, like there's no doubt in that the guy's good at what he does. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, like that's not really the issue. It's like, yeah, he might be great at doing it. But great power it, comes it's great. literally it's literally cancer like if you're a pker and you're dealing with these idiots that are auto praying and auto specking you and auto eating and shit it's just like we don't need that like, we yeah, don't need it sure. but the biggest thing is that it ain't getting picked up it doesn't seem like it's detectable and yeah. that leads back to the whole it's probably done through a client or source which is close to room light which effectively means they're safe until jaggets put their foot down so yeah like the way that vSwitcher works is detectable. Like, once they send that menu action, if one of those variables isn't correct, they can see that through a manual review. Review. So my advice is, if you see someone doing that, make sure you report them. Like, call them out because they will get. Okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so the I, best I, thing you can do is video evidence. Is that? 
Well, no, just report them, he just said. Yeah, like, just report them. Them. Oh, yeah. regular reporting. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do remember some JMOD spoke you, about it. What would you report them under? Auto switchers. Just macroing? Or what would you yeah, report? Macroing. Macro? Could, macroing. could Runelight Plus add a way to report, like a mega report? Could you guys do that? Where it actually gives a shit, you know, where you report it, they actually give a shit about the report. Uh, <laughs> dude, uh, I actually said this when uh, I was in Cambridge at Jagex last. I was saying about the report system. I said, like, in other games such as, like, League of Legends, if you report somebody for, say, being toxic or, like, cheating in that game, which is called scripting, uh, in a few days' time, you'll get a message which basically said somebody that you reported recently has had action taken against their account. If Jagex could give back, like give a feedback system like that, more people would probably report because at the end of the day, if you click report, you never know if it did anything. And then when you see that person like a month later doing the exact same thing, it's like, well, that didn't do anything. Yeah, I wish that, that they gave yeah. back feedback report. Yeah, it would sure. be, it'd be great. Tell you, Runelight Plus, add a mega report button, dude, and just spam their fucking reports. Just like one report is like 20 and it just... No, right no, there. dude, no, 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 no. That brings issue. If Runelight Plus could literally design what I just said and somehow hack into the matrix of RuneScape and figure out if an account gets banned or track it, it would yeah, truly be banned. I truly. mean, you can technically track there it. There we go. Let's get it. You're, you're yeah. selling it, dude. Keep I'm it up. It, man. I'm well, inching else... over. I'm inching over. How much are we getting paid for this sponsorship, dude? Oh, <laughs> zero dollars. This stuff's open source, man. I would like hey. a soundboard. Uh, <laughs> we want access to your Patreon for six months. <laughs> we'll do, uh, a nude calendar for charity. Sign the contract. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I, I agree, dude. When, when I report someone, I mean, I don't even bother much anymore. But like, no, back yeah. when I was younger, I would report, but it never felt like it did anything. <laughs> to yeah, be honest, it would be it would be nice just to get like it doesn't have to say like the this insert username has been permanently banned. It could just be something as simple as somebody that you reported recently action has been taken against them. Like that would be the gratification, you know? Because like, I don't ever report anybody i just put them on my ignore list like if someone annoys me which doesn't happen very often but occasionally i'll get some idiot that comes up to me spamming the n-word i'll just be like ignore or if they come yeah. up to me spamming a website because they want to be in a video i'm just like ignore i don't want you yeah. on here yeah but you don't I report them i feel like reporting doesn't like the amount of people i reported for being shitty it feels like runescape thinks bleach is an actual drink and they're like oh he just wants you to drink some bleach dude you just have <laughs> uh, some gatorade you know it, to the point it doesn't feel like anything's being accomplished at all, ever. And I feel like so many people also agree that nothing is ever done. I think there was a vlog about someone saying Edward like once or twice every hour for like a month. And somebody took pictures of it, reported every day. And I think the guy's still playing. And yeah, it kind of sucks, too. man. Like, because <laughs> right now they just don't have enough like manual labor that. How hard could it to be, be, be honest? Like, oh, N-word ban. You know, like, yeah. come on, man. It, it, Dude. I, I don't know. I don't know how strict the report system is, but I'll tell you like a story from back in the day when I got muted. Yeah, so I was fishing <laughs> at Cafferby, and this had to be back in like I don't know, two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight. I was fishing at Cafferby, and I was having a conversation with somebody because I remember reading through the logs, and it it stars out whoever reported you, but the person who reported me wasn't the person I was speaking to. I was having a conversation with somebody. And I effectively asked where they were from in the UK. Like, not in a weird way. It was just we were getting on really well. And back in the day, you spoke to people in game. And I was like, oh, we're, like, whereabouts are you from in the UK, mate? And I got reported for it. And um, I probably shouldn't say this because they're going to get in loads. But I went on and appealed it and sent them a message. And I sent a message to Jagex in the report system and the appeal process. And I literally said, like, if my account doesn't get unmuted... I, dude, I said some fucking crazy shit. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know exactly word for what I said, but I was like, I'm gonna come there and I'm gonna gun down every single one of oh, you to Jesus Christ. Christ. And, wow. and I got unmuted. I got unmuted <laughs> after I said that, and then like a week later, I got a message from them saying this kind of behavior won't be tolerated. If this happens again, you're gonna be banned. I'm not even fucking. Dude, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna see if I can log in and find it. Oh, I'd love God. to be able to read it. But yeah, I was like, I, I was like, I'd come in there and gun people down <laughs> oh, or something wait, stupid. Shit. I was We're really fucking young. Dude. Dude. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> if you were like <laughs> 17, <laughs> bro, if you were 17, you said that you'd be in jail for a bit, dude. Probably. Yeah. But it yeah, works. Yeah. Like that guy that got jail for a bit for saying that type I, of stuff. I, I'm not even. I'm not. I'm not saying to do it, guys, but. 
I, I go unmuted for it. I have a more yeah. lighthearted story. My friend saw a J mod at the bank and I was gathering around. He started doing the little dance thing where it looks like you're humping him. He goes, Yeah, baby. And then he just got banned for two days. Like, yeah, I can't okay. play right now. I, I, yeah, I think we might be getting off track, but. Yeah, we can I, I'm, I'm kind of curious. You know about this. I wouldn't even call it. Maybe not. Maybe not considered underground community, but maybe maybe it's it's the right word. But like, I'm kind of curious how how this how this community interacts with one another. You know, like there seems to be different groups of players. Right, you have like you know like the 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 big top dogs that are very you know well known already, like OS Buddy and like Runelight, and then we have like you guys somewhere in the middle that are you know off branches. Oh, popular clients doing your own thing, but you're not necessarily making money off of them. And then you have like those shady people that like sell their shit. So like, you know, what what are those groups? Do you know? Like, would you be able to like split them up into groups within your client making community? I guess. I mean, I, I can try. So there's like people who want to make money. Those people are typically, you know, like they cheat in games. You know, like, yeah, they, yeah. they like to they exploit shit like that. Then there's people who do it like out of passion, you know, I'd say that's like the RSPS people, people who make private servers, they definitely do that out of passion, because yeah. you know, it, it's a fun challenge. And they typically are the people who make like OS Buddy, Rune Light, you know, those type of clients, they try and keep it clean. And then you have people who don't, and I don't really know where they fit in, but yeah. Jeez, man. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I'm reading through like my mute from 2006. Fuck. I'm actually, a, I'm a sh I would never share this with anybody. Oh huh. my god. I hope that no one ever sees this stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just sound like such a retard. Holy hell. Well, I can Damn, Rixie's like, I regret my childhood 100%. I was 2006 mute. Oh my good! All right, I want to see the others. I've never been muted, by the way. <laughs> now, talking about private servers, do you know a decent amount of people who run or make them? Uh, I mean, just through various contacts, yeah. Like, okay. Uh, so I they... know there's a specific person uh, named Polar who actually ports Runelay to private servers. Is a really cool. Okay, that's kind of badass in a way. Um, so a lot of content creators get paid or get offered a ton of money to promote PKN servers, etc. Now, where did this money come from, from the RuneScape private servers? Where, where does this money, how do they generate it? I honestly have no clue. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they have item shops, but also that uh, they, the reason why they want to get promoted is so people log in. And when they log in, they usually use their same login as their RuneScape, right? So it logs that information in, and then they hack them later. I feel like that's how they do it. I mean, yeah, that's that's a definite possibility, but yeah, it's just like with anything. If you're using a third party client, it's a trust. Oh yeah, like I've I played on I haven't played a RuneScape private server, but I played a MapleStory private server, and what they do is they they just they just have like a donation link. So it's just like hey, hey if you want to support you know the server, then yeah, just send us some money that's kind of how they do it but yeah i've heard i've also heard of people you know using private servers to like actually reconnect back to the main game and hack the you know the real accounts right but yeah because i've heard some of you was like yeah i got everything safe i'm fine you know and they were talking about private servers before and they get hacked like yeah. the next week because they played one three years ago right because the yeah. server will shut down they're like oh we got all all this info might as well see what we can find and sell it and... yeah i mean the online online environment is just like it's not safe dude like people like go online thinking they're safe no nah, dude it, it, anywhere you go you can easily just get like you download a fucking i don't know malware you're done right yeah you well, log in on a fake that, website you're done the these yeah. plants for rune light they don't have the you know they could they could set out a patch right that you were saying and then start getting your info but they don't right because you could tell but these uh Private servers, you just have it logged, I believe, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much. So it, it's not even like they have to update anything. They just have your info right when you log in. So if you ever have a content creator promoting a private server, they're not looking out for your safety. That is pretty much... I mean, you wouldn't want to promote it just because Jagus will probably grill you, to be honest. No, I've seen a lot of people promote and not get grilled. I know, right? Yeah, that's true, there. that's true. There's a few right. creators, yeah. yeah. So th this is a question then, Gannam. So yourself and the other um, coders in RuneLight Plus, 
Have any of them ever made or worked on private servers? Yeah, the uh, lead dev. <laughs> he's done everything, probably, right? <laughs> does he? Does he still do it? What's the deal? Uh, I don't believe he still does it. It was, as I said before, a passion project. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting though, because yeah, you know, there's Dude. different people in your group, and you don't, you don't like fully understand where they're all coming from. So, but that's but that big, goes to say, that's a big red flag right there, man. I, I just off of alone. I well, line. I just mean, to remember, we yeah. have it set up so another person has to approve a change you make to the client. It's not like someone can just push something immediately on happen. Yeah, but he's yeah. like the co the the creator of this client. He's the guy that came here with the idea. Yeah, but I mean, you're saying everybody. But you're saying everybody needs to do a two step verification thing. Yeah, before I mean, it goes if you do right. two factor authentication, there's no way a client. There's no way someone can sneak get into your account. Yeah, but not everybody has that. That is true, and that's why it's a trust system. Like, yeah, it's we a trust leave system. Yeah. our shit open source, so anyone can check it if they know how. Wouldn't you just be able to go into their email and turn it off? Mm, not sure. Dude, I'm pretty sure two step like basically means nothing when you have all their information. Yeah, when you like, have their it, email, two steps don't mean Yeah, shit, you basically yeah. just log into the account and just switch it off. It's I like a simple. A lot of I mean, well, the thing is, once you. Shit. Yo, uh, sorry, what were you saying, Matt? Mint? I, well, I, I said that a lot of people use the same info for the RuneScape account oh, yeah, for their yeah. email. So it's like yeah, it's hard yeah. for that to be... <laughs> All right, so I'll give you a good example of a friend of mine that got hacked. So so this is how it happened, right? He had two step uh, on his phone, on his account, uh, bank pin and everything, right? And uh, how he got hacked was that his email that was two step for that account had a recovery email that he didn't know about that was tied to that email. And then the hacker found the recovery email and through the recovery email he was able to recover the the actual email and because re he recovered the actual email the two-step got automatically removed that requires a lot of personal information yeah i don't know say. how he did it but so he was able to do that shit i'd tell that guy secure his computer because he probably has a rat yeah i i mean you know i told him to scan the shit and and yeah. all that but but that's how he did it because like the two step didn't mean jack when the email got recovered see world of warcraft does it where they can just a little bracelet and that's an authenticator right yeah, i'm telling yeah. you runescape's missing out on such an awesome market right they can yeah, i would buy that shit item, like a little dragon long sword if your code on it come on man i would buy the fuck out of those each account you just have it honestly i buy i buy for five bucks right now you know what i mean <laughs> i would I'd do 20 bucks I would yeah buy like honestly yeah. five dollar for express well, delivery dude let's get dude, it that's all that's all well and good and i do agree that's a good business model, uh, it really but is at the same time even if they were to do that it wouldn't fix the issue they currently have which is if somebody has your information the authenticator means well, what nothing. if you can't what if you actually have to go into runescape and buy another one and disable it right what if you have to actually pay so your information oh, well, for payment that would work yeah because you can't you know no disabling this shit it's this and if you lose it you got to buy another they, you know that you got to have the info and, and think about it yeah, info. Yeah. yeah like you just like it's like losing your keys because like what are you putting in your keychain you're gonna lose your house keys you know and it uh, could be rude. Like, who wouldn't want to own a little dragon dagger or skirt or, you yeah, know? Yeah, because like then it'd just be cosmetic. And it's, yeah, that'd be great. Because that way, if you don't want to do that, then that's your problem, right? And if you want to hack so when you got to break into their house like a goddamn <laughs> assassin, and you deserve it. So. <laughs> yeah. Like, if some <laughs> dude from, like, Guatemala wants to hack you, they got to take a flight <laughs> to your house. I don't know, somewhere. Just some random-ass country, a right? specific for me, yeah. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's so much harder. Like, like people having to go through your house versus people just hacking through your shit online right it's like it's night and day dude it's way you way harder turn around there's some fat dorito covered piece of shit in your fucking doorway and, you're like, well, <laughs> and then you just chase them and you just track them there's like he's out of breath it's like fuck man uh yeah okay we're we're like off track as hell but yeah, yeah. <laughs> right i'm just i'm just still thinking about the fact that really like is sorry you, you got caught off do you know any f can you hear me yeah, well, you say what you what you said earlier, just oh no, internet. it's fine. I was happy going down that that little route. Um, do you know specifically what kind of private server he had and whether he monetized it? Uh, I believe he he didn't like actually make the private server. He like he, ripped like, it made off. the source for it. Okay, 
from what I understood, I, he uploaded it all to, I believe, a website called Rune Status. Okay, yeah. so did he run the private server or he just made it for somebody? I think he just made it. But as I said, like, I, I just don't know. Yeah, but you probably don't ask he, him about he's that. A, he's a good guy. We need to talk to your boss, man. It's like, who are you? <laughs> Right, I, I don't really I don't really have any questions to ask. I, I'm interested to hear from Ganon though. Like what do you have to say about your client? I mean <laughs> What do you want us to know? Well so well the thing is is that it's what surprised me. I, I what I gotta say <laughs> what I gotta say is though, I'm I'm just surprised that you only kinda play the game since oh eight to twenty eighteen. Cause I was I was expecting you to be like some you know, very like uh I guess veteran RuneScape player, honestly. Yeah, it's barely well, it, a year. It right. kind of makes sense, honestly. Like, if you think about it, like, because the people that will need this as a crutch are the people that haven't played that long. And they want to <laughs> like, get into the game real fast. He's done two theaters of dude, blood, I, though, and he's only played for less than a year. You know what? I, I yeah. really yeah. didn't mean that to come across as, like, patronizing or anything. I'm just saying, like, it kind of does add up. Like, you are the target audience for a client like this. I mean, I, I came... I come from World of Warcraft, where you know you can oh, yeah, make yeah, yeah. all these add-ons, you know, like DBM, big wigs, that type of stuff. It's like yeah. having that for RuneScape. They're just making it myself. Is it's Ooh, like, that's that's a very interesting. Yeah, topic because cause... World of Warcraft does uh, allow people to create like crazy types of clients, right? Like it's yeah. super popular over there. So. From what I played well, they had a, a add-on called Curse, I think it was called. I think people are partnered with it now. I think you guys might be partnered with it. But uh, it was called Curse, and it had, like, add-ons for if you wanted to raid or do PvP. So what was World of Warcraft, what was Blizzard's stance on third-party, not clients, but add-ons that could have potentially been game-changing slash ruining towards the integrity of the game? Like, did they care? Yeah, they, they cared. Uh they made specific changes to prevent like really extreme abuse of it like uh there was this add-on called weakars and it was pretty much like literally lua scripting built into uh world of warcraft and you could make anything with it and people were hooking into the nameplates and like literally telling you what to do every fight no matter what and it was it was very strong they're like no this is not allowed so they just removed access so to they it. actually ha they they got intervening right yeah in between right. It, which would be nice with runescape to intervene yeah so i mean the issue is that the runescape client by itself is so bad has no mm. means whatsoever to do anything like that it can't restrict feature it's just so Going bad <laughs> spaghetti coding on old school do you think that's why blizzard was able to maintain that because they they're pretty solid with their games. I'm sure they're yeah. coding. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. It was definitely because it wasn't made in Java. Like Java is not the ideal program for. It. Yeah, you're saying it's ex very exploitable. Yeah, and, yeah. Like yeah. Runelight specifically, they have done things to make our lives incredibly difficult. Like before, we could automatically remove restrictions that Runelight placed upon themselves, but with the latest patch, they completely broke that system so instead of like having some called asm automatically do that stuff they made it so we have to pretty much manually go into the byte code and change everything which is a complete pain in the ass so it's not like they aren't powerless like i i want to make it clear here that runelight is doing things to stop people from doing this like, if yeah. you're just an average person trying to make, like, something for Hydra, for instance, you're not going to be able to whatsoever. Not anymore. Right. I see. What are the extra steps you have to go to actually do things now? Uh, literally every game patch, we have to hook into their client patching system and just overwrite it with our own client. So if they kicked you from the, I guess it wouldn't be open source then, huh? They'd have to. Uh, I mean, their client is not open source anymore. Like, no. It just oh, so you have to. Get, yeah. Because, uh, to so, get in so, there, do you know kind of like the evolution of Runelight? Did you play when Runelight just started? By the way, no, or? I didn't. It was after. Was it after? It was after. Yeah. It was yeah. After, like, all that so, so back back to what Foxy talked to us about two weeks ago, right? So he's like, um, with the release of 
uh, Runelite and the fact that you know it was very open source. Like uh, I think it was called the Office Cating, right? Was what's the term mm -hmm. for it? Yeah, the office game. It was a uh, yeah. obfuscation. Yeah, because of that, right? People basically yeah, any coder that were involved in like you know private server coding, client making, they were able to like use the, use Runelite and create some really overpowered clients, right? Uh, I mean, they weren't using Runelite to make everything. They were just like hijacking what they were doing. So they were taking the the obfuscator. And they were taking the hooks so they could do their own injection. Do you think Rune Light regrets ever being open source? No. I mean, it's... Adam's that's what it started. Project. I think that's like, how... He 100%. Because if Rune Light was ever to get source. shut down, right? It would probably be because it went open source. I mean, no probably. other reason. Yeah, Just because all it this shit caused, that happened yeah. after it. Yeah, he opened Bendora's box, basically. But still, like, yeah. the reason why Runelite is so good right now is because of the fact that it was open source. Yeah, that's true. Because you have, like, an infinite point. amount of staff members kind yeah, of working. Like, uh, Abex, one of the developers, I don't know if you guys have, like, used the farming tracking plugin, but that thing that he made is a fucking beauty. And I don't think that would have been made if that client was not open source. Uh -huh. It makes me want to learn developing, dude. I want to be one of those guys. Make some shit. Make yeah. Some weird shit I mean, though. for you specifically, you you've gained a lot from you know working on these clients, like work experience and stuff, for sure. So yeah, I definitely. guess the incentive for you is like it just builds you as a per, uh, as as a professional in the coding, I guess, uh, industry. But yeah, I mean that's another reason why. Yeah. Cause like it I does. mean, even if this shuts down, I mean, you still have a lot of experience, and then you can apply it to your future jobs. So that's kind yeah, of pretty... it's also like this potentially might go on my resume, you know. And that's another reason, I somewhat trust. It's like, do I want something like that leads to controversy? Yeah, like, I, I would. I would say fucking accounts or some yeah. shit like that. I don't want that in my. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. So you, yeah. I mean, you have <laughs> your 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 personal interest it does not lie in potentially making a profit out of this or like potentially hacking people or whatever yeah i no, see definitely right. not yeah, for you, you from, specifically yeah just for you though you came from world of warcraft right is that what you said yeah you played a lot of that yeah yeah I'm and, so vanilla is coming out i believe and i i never played it back in the day but i can only imagine people are excited about the vanilla right are you excited oh, yeah. uh, i mean i'm somewhat excited i i know to set my expectation pretty low because <laughs> yeah like vanilla was not that great. Like TBC, that's where the shit got good. But I, I didn't really. Hmm. Well, a lot of people fucking loved vanilla. There was a <clears> private <throat> server, probably the biggest one on vanilla, and then it got shut down. And then you know they finally rioted to get this back. When <laughs> vanilla comes out, or if it is already out, I have no idea. Is there going to be third-party clients for that? Honestly, uh, from probably. what I could tell, they heavily restricted the API usage in vanilla. So, like, the things that are possible nowadays are definitely not possible. Okay, I was wondering, right? Because RuneScape, you know, <clears throat> vanilla client, and then look what we got now. I'd imagine World of Warcraft probably would try to shut that shit down or something. So. <laughs> yeah. I so, mean, I'm, I think they were look, they're were they looking at our case for... I, I think that's what it is, right? I feel like old school RuneScape is... Our case, dude. Yeah, like, oh, it's like a big-ass research. Left work, you know, they're yeah, they're, like, they're, like, they're probably monitoring the stuff that's going on. Like, you know, between third parties and between the players, the voting system and all that stuff. I'm sure they've, you know, learned a lot from us. Like, all our fuck-ups so far, creating this shit. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Most our fuck-ups. So, I, I think the question that everybody's, like, eager to know the answer to, including the audience, uh, Ganem, is how long is it going to take you playing old school runescape to change your avatar from that disgusting putrid one you currently have <laughs> that was hentai what is that well, not? that's a game that's, it's fucking world of warcraft in it oh yeah I that's, thought she that's was my, uh, she's got the face where she's warcraft. enjoying something it's, right? it's the bait <laughs> dude a asmund gold would roast the shit out of you for that trash <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish it was a waifu instead that'd be like 10 times better <laughs> waifu why, why is, is there... it in an anime waifu is it world of warcraft uh... porn <laughs> uh, probably. 
Dude, there's like Overwatch porn, so there has of to be. That's course the of course, of course, Rixie. Did, did you see the asses on even the male characters in that game? <laughs> I think it was day one they came. I think it was the developer that made that shit actually. Yeah, he's like, you know what? That's how people are gonna get you know get into the game. It asses. was pro it probably started as a porn, and then it, <laughs> someone was like, this could actually make a good game. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. all, right, all right, we're gonna get. They just for this. switched. They switched pathways, <laughs> man. It started yeah. as a porno, and then it Overwatch it definitely started. A porno. We're getting sued for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the right, way, um, uh, we're hour in, hour and ten. So okay, do, you, guys do wanna... you guys have any anything else to ask Adam or Adam? Do you have any questions you want to ask? Why did he us? pick this picture where she looks like she's mid relief? That's what I gotta ask. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This was a good time and well. Yeah, that's how you want to be the... noticed. <laughs> Uh, it's just a good movie. I mean, honestly, I play yeah. with ten of my closest friends back in uh, WAD. Expansion. Hey, yeah. Dude, yeah, I'm, I'm only good. playing, dude. If you're a gamer, I got love for you. I don't give a shit what you. Play. All right, yeah. Hey, man, I so, like Halo, but I don't have a picture of him mid come. You know, I just, I'm just saying it. <laughs> so initially, fair, it just laughing. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I, honestly, I was pretty nervous about this podcast because I was like, I was kind of scared that uh, maybe it was just kind of a. Uh, you came on maybe for the purpose of promotion, but you know I kind of understand uh, you know the other side now for sure. I mean I'm I'm still not gonna use the client, but but it's not as bad I guess as it seems, I guess. And and like it it just uncovers something even worse. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm like V switch. Oh, that right. It's like holy shit. So that's where the automation comes from. So like that's the funny part is a lot of people that like hear a little bit about it, they keep thinking like everything just belongs in one package it's like oh really plus automation lizard light on like it's just like they i mean it's it's like different things that are not part of the same they're they're just getting mixed yeah. up and there's so much confusion mm -hmm. but now like it really clears up a lot like i kind of know yeah. where where each kind of tier of like brokenness like their stance on certain things right because like, mm -hmm. it's like it's almost breaking down into tiers now right it's like a tier and yeah. you guys are like somewhere in the middle at this point so. I, I I totally agree with that. And yeah. I think, like, Ganem, if you can go away from this and get the boys on board with the whole if Jagex say no, it means no, then your client could potentially have a future, to be honest with you. Because it's going to help a lot of people out. Well, that's very true. <laughs> yeah, but like, it might be over. That, that's, yeah, like, that's the only factor about this client, which I wouldn't use it, and that's for that reason. Um, because effectively the way I see it is if you're going to do stuff that Jagex says you're not allowed to do, then the people that are playing on your client are at risk of having their accounts banned. So that's like a terrible business model because people aren't going to want to play your client. So it just makes sense for you to go along with that. But it depends what you want. It depends if you want to have a successful client that people use or if you care more about getting revenge against people that are uh, costing $50 a month to be able to use like AHK and stuff. If that's your true enemy, then continue what you're doing. But if you want it to be a successful client, you should probably just do what Jagex say. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't yeah. think it's like we don't expect this project to last for a long time. You know. Yeah, we, I feel like we for... knew that from the start. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I mean, but this client isn't just for OP things. You know, we yeah. we have other things in there that just like pure quality of life or just fun things. You know, like in the uh, in the Twitter feed that you were showing earlier. There's yeah. a plugin I made called Teamorph, which if you play well, you might know that. I see. And it, it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it, sure. it just allows you to change your equipment and your animations to like, so only you can see that. But yeah, I mean, it's not just for yeah. helping. So you know about Skyrim mods, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's yeah, just Skyrim crazy. mods are kind of like the OG daddy, right? Of mods almost. Now there was a mod that made everybody naked. <laughs> How plausible would that be for you know RuneScape? You know what I mean. Every oh, that's monster... very easy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just turn, just get rid of the armor and stuff and the clothing, right? Because I'm sure be they're looking at a whole different new, files. For this. Uh... Whole new viewer base here, dude. Uh, yeah, uh, Pornhub. <laughs> you, to my... bit, you can uh, see something that's a little bit not safe for work, but it's yeah. blurred out. <laughs> like, is it not safe for? Is it not safe for YouTube? <laughs> no, no it, it's safe for YouTube. Okay, let's see it, dude. That's <laughs> the uh, Neon one. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's checking before showing up. Yeah, there. just double check, bro. I, I mean, <laughs> Just don't Show. Say it. I want to we see. want to see 
RuneScape titties. Right? <laughs> you want, oh my god. You want you me? Gonna, you gonna, yeah, you gonna show us, man? We're just waiting here. <laughs> He's double so checking. The whole reboot, even like Bandos. Look, we're, look we, don't, we don't need to show it. We can look at it in the Discord. If, if it's not safe, we're not gonna show it. <laughs> I thought you just checked it. It's like Where a shout it? out on uh, Misto Schizo for me. Is it on Twitter or is it on Discord chat? No, I don't think he's posted it yet. <laughs> yeah, let me go find it. Yeah. Let us see. Let us see. We're gonna riot yeah. otherwise. I'm like kinda like if it's doable in Skyrim, man, you know, how is it not coming to RuneScape with all this creepy art that's been out, right? The sandwich lady art and shit. Oh shit, hold on. I right, hold oh, on. Hold lizard on. I are we sure we good to go? <laughs> are we sure we can watch? <laughs> Uh, oh, whoa. I get it. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's man. hilarious, dude. Okay. Is that okay. what you would call minge there, Rixie? Uh, uh, it is indeed a minge. <laughs> it's a very a minge. It's a cla it's a classy minge, dude. Classy. <laughs> Why? Oh, dude, that is the worst way to oh. refer to any genitalia. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> what what's your preferred pronoun? Tell me. What do you use? <laughs> Look at that cooch. No, that's not it. Um hatchet wounds. Pussy. Pussy words, right? Pussy's kind of dirty. No, the funny I mean, word I use would be for JJ. Hey man, that's just so fucking boring, dude. You got, you're sleeping with the same girl, and every time you're just like... Okay, we get pussy. a rig, see. No one gives a shit. Just throw in there, throw in the mix. Be like, let me see that minge. Let me see that hatchet wound. Let me see that hatchet wound. Let me see that Okay, yo, we get a rig, see. You have a social life, man. I think I think the the worst one's probably snatch i've never met a girl oh, that god that sounds fruity. terrible <laughs> yeah dude that's they, a they snatch don't like, they don't like snatch they don't they don't like it alligator yeah. trap how about <laughs> oh my oh. lord right anyways uh, i say we wrap it up unless you guys got any more questions all right we gotta wrap it up with yo if you, honestly uh i feel like maybe one day we will go back into this topic you know maybe bring another guest or one day we're probably gonna get lizard light up in the comments like how fucking dare you people oh, dude. We'll get him on right so you framed well, we, me <laughs> you know what we should do we should get all all the client leaders together and just see what happens yeah <laughs> basically it'll be a v switch roast me you know Oh, we can go into their <laughs> Discord, start a call, record. Don't tell them. Boom, easy. There that'd be go. cool. That'd be cool. I have, dis dude. I have under. Uh, I've disguised myself as a uh, coder in this coder. Dev. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was like. like a coder. <laughs> I can get away. Get so funny. You, you, nice you, guy, you do. Yeah. You look like you'd get away with any IT job though. Like you just uh, yeah, I guess so, man. man. <laughs> it's the glasses, man. It's the glasses. It's the glasses. <laughs> right. Anyways, yo, get them. The admin from Relight Plus, thank you very much for coming on the podcast. I guess we can promote sure your Twitter. Insight. I mean, the least you yeah, can do is yeah. promote your Twitter. Do you want to shout out your Twitter, dude? Uh, can I shout out Relight Pluses? Yeah, I mean, wait, wait, you know, wait, wait, hold up. Video no, 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 we can't. We can't no, do Relight Plus. No simply, promotion, dude. No, 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 no. Simply, simply for the reason that they don't go with what Jagex say on their policies. Okay, okay. We're, right. we're not going to shout out, but you can All shout right. out your personal Twitter if you want. I don't really use Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's fine. I feel like your job does not require, you know, publicity like that. You know what I mean? You have a MySpace so. that we could... Anything? <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, uh, you covered on. We, we've learned a lot. So yeah, man. Thanks for thanks for being awesome. a baller. Maybe and... we're too promoted, you know? Yeah. I mean, okay. you told the truth. I can feel it. You know, it's very honest. So... But, uh, it was good being here, guys. Yeah, yeah hey, guys, like, home. seriously, uh, you know, last video we didn't do so hot. So if you guys actually enjoy this podcast, please promote it by liking it or, you know, like, do all that fancy stuff. You know, tell your grandma, tell your grandpas. And uh, your grandma's also mensch. questions, you know, questions about <laughs> this podcast or maybe future podcasts, leave it down in the comments because, you know, we, we, need, we need more of those, I feel like. It's nice to have one guy, but it'd be nice to have more people, you know, pitching in. Yeah, and we just want that one dude, all right? Dude, I think it'd be quite interesting to get, like, the guy from... Because he clearly has a lot to say. Like, why not? Let's have him on. The guy from what? Shark on, dude. The guy from the what? Lizard, lizard the, guy guy? That was, the guy that was really angry on the YouTube video. He, the, from Lizard. Well, lizard Light or whatever it was. Yeah, I mean, one I'm, day, I, I I'm, like. I'm really sorry, dude. If you're watching... I'm yeah, really bad with names, names, so it's yeah. nothing personal. I've been yeah, looking at Ganem's name every single time I look at the screen. Yeah, so. it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm going to see like uh, Zelda. You know what I mean? Like Ganon, Ganem. Uh, every time. Ganondorf. Yeah, you're talking about Ganondorf. I was like, yeah. All right. Well, right is, there, is there one last thing I can uh, yeah. show? Ah, okay. uh, can you just scroll up on the Twitter? It's the most recent post. 
Like this is just another example of something like that we make that's not OP. It's just oh, this one's cool. I like this one. Safe. Yeah, the we we do raise ban list. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So every time someone joins your clan, you get a notification if they're on there. Yeah, that that's actually really helpful. You know, I don't know why Runeway wouldn't even have the have that. Did they? They don't have that. So. They said they didn't like it. Uh, grabbing from third party APIs. So they yeah, you, you got you guys things. are more like you know open for I mean, that stuff i get it if you guys go to rune watch yeah say you're doing a raid do you trust that website to a degree yeah i mean i mean i don't usually raid with people so it's like i don't worry about it <laughs> but yeah 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 i know a lot of people that get scammed and shit i've heard stories it's also so. not like uh so in rune watch they have that system where there's like tiers to the offense right so yeah it's like, like one to scam five. the bill you know we only take the ones that are severe we don't take the ones that are below yeah also. That's understandable. Yep.